Implosion of a submarine can be a devastating and costly event. It occurs when a tremendous level of pressure builds up within the vessel, caused by the surrounding water. The intense pressure created by increasing depth can cause the air and other gases within the submarine to compress, creating an imbalance of pressure and leading to implosion. The sudden decrease in the size of the interior of the submarine creates a vacuum and causes the weak points in the vessel to buckle inwards. The implosion is usually fast and violent, with debris from the imploding submarine spreading out in all directions. The higher the depth that the submarine was at when imploding, the more powerful the implosion will be and the more destruction it will cause. The imploded parts of the submarine are then expelled outwards due the extreme pressure being applied to them. As the implosion occurs, the compressed air within the submarine is focused, directing a powerful jet of air and gas that can accelerate the debris in an outward direction. The implosion process is also accompanied by a loud, explosive noise, which is heard by all nearby vessels. In the most severe cases, when the implosion is particularly powerful, the shockwave it produces can damage other ships in the vicinity of the implosion site. Those on board the submarine at the time of implosion will either be killed instantly or, if they are lucky, thrown off by the violent tremors. Each submarine is equipped with an emergency buoy in the form of a radio beacon which immediately goes off when implosion occurs. This beacon will transmit a transmission that indicates the presence of a submerged vessel and its exact location. An implosion of a submarine can create a huge disruption in the surrounding environment. If the submarine imploded at great depths, the released debris can be spread out over a much larger area than the immediate vicinity of the implosion. From the viewpoint of the surrounding vessels and other nearby submarines, the implosion looks like a huge, orange fireball that is eventually extinguished with the releasing of pressure from both inside the submarine and from the surrounding waters. After the initial fireball, the imploded vessel will slowly sink to the bottom of the ocean and the debris will settle in the depths. The implosion process can also create a large, whirlpool-like undercurrent, pulling in debris and objects in its wake before it, too, eventually dissipates. Any vehicles or persons operating nearby are in great danger during an implosion since the shockwave from the unstoppable pressure can damage other vessels and their occupants. Implosion of a submarine also carries economic and environmental consequences. In addition to the cost of replacing the submarine and its contents, the surrounding environment can be damaged due to the release of fuel, oil, chemicals, high-pressure air, and any other substances that were stored in the submarine before it imploded. These substances can be hazardous to marine life and the wider ecosystem, creating harm that may not be visible for many years. Implosion can also be caused by other external factors, such as sabotage or collisions, however, implosion caused by depth-induced pressure is much more common. As technology advances and submarines become more advanced and complex, researchers and engineers are constantly looking for ways to reduce the chance of an implosion.
new understandings of pressure dynamics and improved designs of submarines can play a major role in improving submarine safety and significantly reduce the chances of implosion. Furthermore, regular maintenance of submarines is extremely important in order to ensure that every component is functioning properly and to identify any potential defects or weaknesses before they become problematic.